Welcome to VTC's course on Ubuntu Linux. My name is Chess Griffin. In this tutorial, we are booting to the installed Ubuntu Linux on the hard drive for the first time. If Ubuntu had detected another operating system, such as Windows, then one would have been presented with a menu at the initial boot screen, allowing one to choose between Windows or Linux. However, this computer did not have that, so it booted straight into Ubuntu. The progress bar shows the progress as Ubuntu Linux is loading, and when it reaches the end, it will take you to the initial login screen. Now, this initial login screen provides a few options. First, it is very simple to type in one's name and password as set up during the installation process to boot into Ubuntu Linux. Additionally, down in the lower left-hand corner, there is an icon for options that when clicked allows one to change language, select session, which simply means if one decides to, to install a different desktop environment, one can choose that at this point, remote login, or to restart, shut down, suspend, or hibernate. Simply typing in one's name, pressing return, and then entering in the password, logs one in to the Ubuntu desktop. You should notice a large speed improvement over using the live CD. This splash screen will come up to let you know that everything is loading properly and one will be taken straight into the GNOME desktop environment. Now, this is the initial GNOME desktop environment that you will see upon logging in. As you notice, it looks very similar to the uh, desktop that was present during the live CD. In fact, it's very much the same. Now, I've already received a notification that there are software updates available. That's something that will be covered in another tutorial. Simply clicking the box will close the pop-up window. So this is the GNOME desktop environment for Ubuntu Linux. This desktop features four distinct areas. First is the Applications, Places, and System menus that are available in the upper left-hand corner. Next to those are several icons for applications, such as Firefox, the Evolution Email Client, and the Ubuntu Help System. In the upper left-hand corner is an icon representing the Update Manager, the Software Update Manager, the Volume Control, the Date and Time, and a button that will allow one to log in, log off, shut down, or suspend. Incidentally, the clock, if you click on the clock, a calendar appears. In the lower right-hand corner are two different boxes for workspaces, as well as the trash can or the recycle bin. And in the lower left-hand corner is an icon to show desktops. And of course, the main desktop itself, the main workspace, is right in the middle. So this is the default GNOME desktop for Ubuntu Linux, and this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.